Hello, and welcome everyone. We are here with another video for science students. So let's get started. You must have felt that things become lighter when they are dipped in water. This happens because of buoyancy force acting upward on the objects inside a liquid. In this video, we will learn why and how the buoyancy force generates. Let's take some water in a transparent pot and observe two points, point A and point B. Point A is at some distance above point B. Now, let's analyze the different forces acting on both points. In the air, air particles always move around randomly and continuously strike the water surface and thus exert some force. This force gets distributed to every point in the water. In other words, every water particle in the pot experiences the force exerted by air particles. We make use of the term, pressure to represent the effectiveness of force on an area. For example, a needle penetrates our skin easily compared to a wooden stick if the same amount of force is applied. This happens because, in the case of the needle, pressure is more as the area is less. Here the force is more concentrated compared to a stick and thus force is more effective. Force exerted by air particles on the surface of the water is represented using atmospheric pressure. Each particle in water experiences equal atmospheric pressure. This is not the only force that water particles experience. Let us learn about the second force now. We know that gravitational force acts on objects towards the center of the earth, or downwards. Assuming that water is kept in a pot on a table, each water particle exerts the force on the particle just below it due to its weight. Net force due to gravity on each particle will be the total force exerted by all the particles above it. In our diagram, point B will face more force than point A or we can say there is more pressure at point B compared to point A. As we move deeper and deeper in water, the pressure increases. So each particle in water or in any liquid experiences pressure due to the atmosphere and weight of all the particles above it. If you submerge an object in the water, its lower part will experience higher pressure compared to its upper part. This pressure difference leads to a net upward force, which is nothing but the buoyancy force as we know it. When an object with a higher density than water is merged in it, the buoyancy force remains weaker compared to gravitational force and thus the object sinks in. But, when the density of an object is less compared to water, then buoyancy force overtakes the gravitational force and the object starts floating on the water. To know more about how objects float on water, check out the recommended video and description. Thank you for watching.